<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. You're the greatest show on earth. You think waterboarding would hurt that much? I've always wanted to get it done to me. Uh, I've talked about how I want Tim Kane to do it to me. And then I was in Austin like a year ago, and he texted me, goes, send address. I did not send the address. I was scared. Because he, do, you know, he does it. Like, that's really what he does. He sent me a picture of him in a van and his boys. I was like, mm-mm. Wow. I hid. I could would see, you do it? I would do it for like an afternoon or something. I don't think I would do like a couple of, I wouldn't do like a retreat. I don't want to do it before a show. I don't want to be scared. Or it might make you wake you up. I think they just drip water on you. What do they do, Chin? Do you no, no. know? They put a towel over your face. Towel over your face, and then they just constant, constant flow of water. So it's the closest you can come to drowning yeah. without drowning. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the, the towel makes they can't shut your mouth. It makes you panic because you can't breathe. Yeah, you can't breathe. Your nose, and, your mouth. And it's just relentless, yeah. yeah. But you can't die, right? Um, I don't know. You could probably die. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> huh? You heard of waterboarding? No. God damn, you ever seen Zero Dark Thirty? No. What's that? You ever seen Blackfish? Did they do that in Blackfish? Yeah, it's, <laughs> they kept doing it to the fish, I guess. Damn. I know, dude. Clogging their fucking blowholes. Dude, you look like a straight up slumberjack today, dude. You look like somebody that's supposed to go to work and just goes and sleeps in the woods. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really? Look like, yeah. Thanks, dog. I think that's good. Yes, yeah. bro. Do you look like a freaking? You look like a regional manor for Volk regional manager. That? Nope. Up. <laughs> hey, this is your joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. He fumbled the words. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> that was your joke, yeah. dude. That was your joke, dude. What are you wearing? What are you talking about? What are you, about? the gayest cowboy in the West? What is that, dude? dude this is Western style, Brendan. You look like you. You look like you're gonna go to rehab for fucking Mike Hard's lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him I don't want any more. It's still lemonade. Yeah, I heard if you drink a thousand, you get to meet Mike. <laughs> Dude, do you know anyone who drinks Mike Hard's lemonade? Have you ever met a buddy who's like, dude, I'm just dying for those Mike Hard's? <laughs> ever? Bro, you look like that black girl in the last episode who got busted going back to school right now. <laughs> That's what you look like. No, are you talking about Booger McFarlane? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, you look just like that lady. Like you're trying to be in 11th grade. <laughs> that makes Theo Joe Tessitore. That's right. What is it? Booger McFarlane and uh, Joe Tessitore are the uh, Monday night announcers. Are they leaving Booger McFarlane as the announcer? People can't I, stand I can, him. People can't stand him because he makes comments like this. The, the fucking Patriots be up 17 and go, what the Patriots need to do is continue playing ball if they want to get done with this game. Just like <laughs> random, like, boy, these boys are sweating, if you ask me. It's like, all right, dude, well. He's just bad at it. He's bad. He's LSU Tiger, though. Did he went to LSU, man? That's one yeah. thing, bro. Doesn't get the pass with me, though. You know, well, I don't give a fuck. Damn. Your boy, your boy, uh, Joe Burrow, though, balling. I know. When I say balling, I mean not doing anything. <laughs> when's that? When's the draft coming up? The draft is April. Hmm. You know what? The combine's right now, and your boy Joe Burrow's like, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. No, me neither. His whole season it can only hurt combine. You. It can only hurt yeah. you. Bro, we know what's coming up is uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and you know what's after St. Patty's Day? <laughs> My birthday. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 37. Oh, oh, oh. And you know what's after your birthday, dude? My birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> Pisces bros. Your birthday's the 19th. 19th. Oh, What's yours, 18th? 18th, dude. Dang. Couple Pisces brothers. Start oh, the show. Swimming in the world. We just ate a ton of poke. Just a couple Pisces boys hopped up on fish. Swimming through the universe. Where my bitches. <laughs> where my, where's my hoes. <laughs> Pussy put <putting> nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they just wait for an option to jump back in. Dude, I, I, when I when I tell he you, he has all the lyrics <laughs> stapled to the wall right now. Too, he's, he's ready. All you guys singing? Yeah. <laughs> Chin's like, pussy, pussy. Yeah. Dude, Chin's I'm like, telling you, I could not. 
I'm, I couldn't, that weekend that happened, was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? I could not, I'd just be randomly driving to Uber laughing to myself. <laughs> <laughs> laughing, dude, at that guy, <laughs> that guy going. Years ago. Oh, my God. Oh. Years ago. And then you and I would text each other just randomly. Years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I text Neil back, is this live? Yeah. <laughs> I think people are annoyed. Years ago, me. they tried to. Nah. Yeah, nobody even knew what I was talking about, dude. I think I said it on stage a couple times uh, a couple weeks ago. That's the hardest I've ever laughed, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, I couldn't stop laughing. Are y'all yeah. celebrating St. Patrick's or what, man? Quit trying to bypass what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're right, dog. It's my. Dude, are you doing anything for your B day? What should we do for our B days, dude? I well, you know, dude, St. Patrick's is before our birthdays, man. I know it kind of steals our shine, doesn't it? Well, you just can't jump over a whole nation of people, the Irish. Well, they don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day, but that's fine. They make fun of the way you we You know who St. Patrick was? Who was it? Nick? Uh, he ran all the snakes out of Ireland. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. So fuck thank St. God. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank God. Thank God. Can you imagine being completely wasted and there being a bunch of snakes around? Dude, <laughs> you imagine drinking a barrel of Guinness and then a Cobra bite your <laughs> dick? <laughs> thank St. Patrick, dude. You know how to spell St. Patty's? That's always controversy around this time. Oh, uh, P A D D Y S, huh? That's right. P A D oh, Patty's. Yeah, Pat like like Patty, like the Patty the Fighter. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we met him in uh, Ireland. Yeah, Patty Houlihan. Oh, he, awesome guy. That's, was the, he? that's the only reason I know how to spell it. P A D D. Party. Yeah, party. Party. Ula. Oh, party. And what do you oh, guys. Party, don't you know? Oh, party. Oh. Oh, party. Get in my belly. <laughs> There's also Patty Pimblett, another. Patty Pimblett? Irish, Irish UFC. Oh. Or mm. fighter. Um, and there's a Patty Wagon, too, if you have to get <laughs> Irish people and they don't want to go with you. Well, that's just Uber and Ireland. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But uh, are you going to do, do anything for your B day? Dude. Birthdays kind of make me sad. Yeah. You, since I was a kid. Wait, yeah. am I in this past weekend? What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Welcome to this past weekend. Today's episode is brought to you by Grey Block Pizza. <laughs> it's brought to you by Brennan's birthday, and he's sad. Yeah, yeah birthdays never live up to hype. Or if someone forgets it, like my dad forgot it last year. That's cool. whatever. Well, let's talk about St. Patrick's Day, dude. So <laughs> what do you guys do in the culture corner for St. Patrick's Day? I want to get, you what drink, do y'all do? Do you guys drink uh, green beer? I'm sober. <laughs> Same here. For the no, part. you're not Every sober, Dad. Don't jump on his train. He has no. problems. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's an adult. Yeah, you're fine. The only but, time I feel <clears throat> like I drink is when I'm out with you and the guys, though. That's it. Like, I don't really drink in my personal life. Your boy drinks hard. <laughs> <laughs> you got any meetings for me? <laughs> <laughs> but what, cat? you guys don't, do you guys celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Does it cross over to Asian culture or no? Mm, not for me. Chin, wow. Chin, will you slurp down some green sake or what? You know, I drink every day, so <laughs> that, that's not going to change. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll definitely try to get some green beer with friends. Chin, you know what I've been really into is yeah. uh, uh, Japanese whiskey. It's my new mm -hmm. kick. And this company is sending me a bunch of bottles of Bring it, it over. Oh, really? Bring it to the studio. I got into it because of Jay, too, his brother. Yeah, my brother got yeah. me into it. Of it's, what? It's called whiskey. whiskey you gotta, you be careful whiskey. the way you say it. Uh, it's called Nika. N I K K A. Nika. Well, <laughs> you look it up, Nick, before I get in trouble, before I get lose What'd every call job it? I've ever had. <laughs> Nika. Like N I K K A. Nika coffee whiskey. To your defense, there's oh. a Korea, there's a Korean word that sounds exactly like that too. Yeah. Nika. Nika means like well, that's me. Oh, Nika. Yeah. Oh, ne nega means me. Niga means you. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Hey, dude. That's I racist, bro. True. It's Korean. I I'm just talking about Nika whiskey, and the, when the commercial goes, oh, Nika. Whoa, whoa, dude. I'm not this racist, bro. <laughs> dude, it's a whiskey. I'm not. That's a. Dick. Well, I'll tell you this. <laughs> Quickly. I'm not ordering it ever. Oh, no. I just go, is that a. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that that Japanese whiskey? Or which one? Come on, you know which one it is, man. You know, come on, that one, dude. You know, yeah. especially if it's a black uh, bartender. I'm like, mm, I'll just, you know, I'll take the, <laughs> I'll just take uh, Jameson over here. <laughs> That's crazy. He's just standing there like, say, what? what you, you know, doing? Because you, you're pointing over here. I'm like, I, mm, 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 I'll take. But the, what about in the urban community? Do they celebrate St. Patrick's Day? It seems you know, like it, huh? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I can't recall ever celebrating. I mean, black people in Arizona do. Yep. You know yeah. how I'm celebrating it? Austin, Texas, dude. That's where you're going to be? Yep. 
Mm. All weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday for my B day. Damn. Oh, you're gonna work it on your birthday? Yeah. So mm. I like to bring in holidays. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried about St. Patrick's Day right now. Yeah, you're stuck on St. Patrick's Day Dude, because it's coming I before. Just, but I just jump over it because I'm looking forward to my birthday. Yeah. If that's how you, I'm not that kind of guy. Well, let's let's say we have to look forward to your birthday. Is there something you want to do for your birthday? Probably can not. Can I get you some shoes for your birthday? I might get an ice cream cake. Can I have I sandals sh- on. Can I? I know that. I know. I'm asking if I can do you a favor and give you a gift and give you some cool shoes. Yeah, I'll take. Can I get you some swag? Will you wear them though? Yeah. I'll size my best. ten. Ten. It's the most popular size, so it's it? cost daddy some money. But you've earned strong it. Strong ten. You've earned it. <laughs> you've earned it. <laughs> It's a strong 10. What else is going on, man? We're still alive from Corona, nobody. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Told you, guys. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Chin's brother sent him fucking text going, dude, did you stock up on spam and sake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want when the world's fucking breaking down. Spam. Yeah. He did message me, though, to get plenty of water. Spam and, and sake. That's what I'm saying, you bro. Shit your pants. Dude, there's a there's a down low information system out there that we are not on, Brendan. That well, you Chin, don't know what's going I on. Chin's dude. on. Chin's brother uh, drives a Godzilla car. He does. does anyone know what a Godzilla what is for, for three, two, one, too late? Godzilla. It's Nis- a fighter. It's a Nissan GTR. Hmm. Uh, Godzilla. Well, I used to play that game where you would like make a sound and get have people guess if it was Japanese or not. Like, yeah. Is it a word? <laughs> oh, that's fun. And see if it's a word in Japanese, you know? <laughs> oh, Nia! Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Bro, you've had too much of Jocko's <laughs> magic race He's potion. on this word. I know. Yeah, dude, bro. Dude, it's not. It's N-I-K-K-A. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Japanese word. whiskey, my favorite. The I don't hear the K you say yeah, it. I heard it. Yeah, really? Did you hear the K? Really? No. I did not hear oh, the K. Wow. Oh, you better hey, spell it out, hey, man. Hey, Nick, I want you to do me a what? favor so I don't lose all my jobs. And quit saying Nick like that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Quit make, saying, make sure you put at the bottom in subtext N I K K A. That's popping up right now. I there can't you go. say my favorite Boom. whiskey. Okay, there are several companies producing whiskey in Japan, but the two best known and most widely available are Suntory and Nika. <laughs> Both of these produce blended as well as single malt whiskeys and blended malt whiskeys. Oh, uh, Suntory! There you go. You just shout it. You Much know? better. Let's get into this episode, dude, before. <laughs> before I lose my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Dude, do you, th- do you want anything for your birthday, though, besides shoes? Yeah, let me think about it, man. I'll, I'll, yeah, I would probably like something. I'm probably going to get an ice cream cake. Ooh, oh, dude, where, uh, that's what I like. Yeah? I like ice cream. I also like uh, cakes from uh, Susie's. Susie Pies? You ever <laughs> had those? Pie. Susie's Cupcakes, right? Yeah, but the, you can get a cookie that they, they put uh, icing all over. Oh, uh, Mrs. Fields, too, would do it. You spell your name on it and shit. I like those cookies from the mall that you get your name written on That's it, dude. Mrs. Fields, bro. Those are good. Mrs. Fields cookie been cakes forever. So good. She been cooking it for the best. Dude, we used to go to the roller rink for our birthdays when oh, I was young, dude. dude. Me too, dude. And then you see the hot girl, and but you'd fall. Yeah. <laughs> so embarrassing. That shit would hurt. I'd always be like, I'll be out there in a minute, and I would never go skate, dude. <laughs> oh, you? I see. I would skate, but then if it got a little too intense, I was trying to show off. I'd always climb to the wall. Yeah. And then just scoot on the wall. Well, what's up, girl? Yeah, I'm gonna get off. <laughs> I'm getting out there. I'm my ankle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you what do you do, you do anything for fun. your birthday? Do I? Yeah, oh, man. What's the last thing I did for my birthday? When is your birthday? January twenty third. I thought. What did I do? Your birthday was recent. Yeah. Look at Brennan uh, suddenly oh, trying God, to care about one? black culture over here. You notice this oh, part? Oh come on, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. He's just leaning in, talking to me. How, know, yeah. how are you? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh are you come great? on, dude. Yeah. Hey, dude. Text, te- text, text your boy yet? David Duke. See what he thinks. <laughs> what was your birthday? What was your birthday, birthday? Chanel? Hey, Tell me a little hey, bit more can about. You, can you text your best friend David Dukes if Nika whiskey's racist? Oh, suddenly you're pronouncing the K a little stronger, huh? Dude, if David he's son dude, of a bitch. He's son of a bitch. We're not friends, dude. We used to yeah, go to the want, gym. Yeah, you want you text each other. We used to go to the gym. I did not have a number, and I don't think he has a cell phone either. <laughs> probably for the best. Probably, probably, for, the best. <laughs> probably for the best, yeah. Did you Nick? do anything for your birthday, Kat? Mm, it's usually preparation for July 4th, because mm. my birthday's the day right before. The worst. Wow. It's like mm-hmm. having your birthday before Christmas. Nobody yep. cares. Yeah. Day after Christmas right here. Oh, oh. Even worse. Now The high's gone. Everyone's tired. Mm. Yeah, yeah, just a bunch of wrapping paper. I forgot how old I am. No one celebrates it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, the, the, the oldest Damn. in here. Chin's the oldest. Uh huh. I am and the oldest, right? Yeah. You're, 42. What are you? 47? 42. 42? I'm yeah. second, then I'll be 40. 
You mean oh, dude, big four oh, dude? Back big nine, 40, bro. Back nine. What do you mean back nine? Uh, People yeah. could live forever, dude. Have you seen Joe Rogan's? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the raccoons outside of his house? Okay. That's One good. of them called me the other day. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> One of them emailed me the other yeah. day. One, two, they, okay. started, they started their own podcast. Yeah, yeah, Red Band's producing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're also thinking about getting a poke truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, who brought us Poke? Who was that? <clears throat> Let's give a shout out to those guys. What was their company called? Kolohe Boys. Kolohe Boys. The Kolohe, Kolohe Boys. Kolohe man. Boys. Mahalo. 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 Kolohe. That stuff is good. Amazing. So good. Delicious. You, you're uh, headed to Hawaii, dude. You're going to be stuffed full of Just poke. got back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> what? What are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> do, you, do you think Danica Patrick celebrates St. Patrick's Day and like kind of thinks it's like her thing? Do you think Dan Patrick thinks it's his national holiday? Ooh. Dude, they should have a Dan and Dana off and only one of them lives. Dude. Yeah. That'd be cool. Who do you think would win that? Dan Patrick versus Dana Patrick? D Dana Patrick is a beast, yeah. dude. Yeah. Beast. She's been, she's, she's she dates, what's his name? Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Rogers. Aaron Rodgers. So. Yeah, you know, she's a little spark plug. Get it? Um, she also, she retired though, yeah? Yeah, I mean, she but retired. But also, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but also. Yeah. She kind of. Never going to win though, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's like. She won yeah, something I also retired. What? She won the, uh, she won, I think she won one time. Yeah, I think she won one like the 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 box soapbox card thing. Yeah, she won. <laughs> I don't watch NASCAR. I don't watch NASCAR. She won a Peloton event. She won the Japan three hundred her fiftieth IndyCar series race in April twentieth, two thousand eight. There you go. Was it, that was the only one she won. Yeah, everybody say, else must have been high. Did you say two, <laughs> Did you say two thousand eight? Uh, yeah. Or also driving in ago. Japan has got to be <laughs> hit or miss. No, they drift in Japan. They do? Oh, yeah. They're well, not trying to stay on the track. They're drifting around, dude. Well, drinking, drinking Nika. And he doesn't stop saying it, dude. <laughs> With a K, dude. And he doesn't stop saying it, man. God, it's hurting me. Yeah, I don't know how I feel right now. Really? <laughs> Is it? Oh, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Swing low, <laughs> sweet chariot. Remember to carry me home. Pretty excited for our birthdays, dude. How are you? Dude, your boy here dude. just eats meat. You don't want to know how my casserole turned out? No, because I'm, I'm only interested in good quality meats. Your boy's carnivore. I had beef meat. You had beef? Yeah. Where'd you get it? I had beef meat, huh? From my friend, I told you. Okay, well, what if I told you there's a little thing called Butcher Box, and they're helping me be carnivore. I'm a carnivore. Oh, yeah, you're carnivore. You're like, a di you're like one of those dinosaurs? Yeah, like a T-Rex. Ooh. Or is it Stegosaurus? Huh? Like a CTE Rex. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Very good. Come on, do it. <laughs> Come on, do it now. Kill me. That's a Arnold. Uh, Look, man, what we're talking about is butcher box. Will you tell these people or not? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how you can get 100% grass fed tell finished me. beef, free range organic chicken. You want to be like a T Rex? You want to march through life going and shred city? You MC can do it, meaty boy. Yeah, dog. There's butcher box. Butcher box believes everyone deserves the highest quality, humanely sourced meat on the planet. Back off the mics. Snake. Whoa, what's up? Every month, butcher box gets some meat straight into your stupid mouth. Yeah. High quality meat right to your home meat meat Ooh, knock knock who's there meat boy knock knock what i'm the best saying. meat ship right to your door which means one less trip to the grocery store each box has nine to eleven pounds of meat that's it you know there's different possibilities there so much meat enough for 24 individual meals look or two people with coronavirus milling around you never know if you got to have that meat stash you know you never know dude it's packed fresh it's shipped frozen and it's vacuum sealed yep. so it stays that way and it's also butcher box the most affordable and convenient way to get healthy humanely raised meat with butcher box you get the highest quality meat around for six dollars a meal then they even have free shipping nationwide except alaska and hawaii you and right now our members are getting ground beef for life <sighs> that's two pounds of ground beef in every box for life 
of their subscription plus twenty dollars off the that's a crazy deal plus twenty dollars off the first box. Just go to butcherbox.com slash k a t s or just yell out moo and nothing will happen. <laughs> but go to butcherbox.com slash k a t s. Yep, k a t s at checkout. We're talking ground beef for life, son. That's two pounds of ground beef in every box for the life of your subscription. Plus twenty dollars off your first box. Butcherbox.com slash K A T S. Look, I gotta tell you straight up, man. Straight up, straight up. Your straight boy up. here don't drink water. Uh, I know you don't. And that's why I'm, I'm trying dehydrated. to dehydrated. No doubt, dude. No doubt. And that's why I'm trying to change your life. And when I'm whoa, whoa, wake up. And what I'm trying to offer you, man, is liquid IV. Okay, dude. talk to me. You get back from the gym or something, instead of just having a glass of water, throw a liquid IV in there, you stir it up, takes four seconds, boom, you down it. Dude, it's like drinking 11 glasses of water, Whoa. man. Yep. If Cold you're wet- dehydrated, Dude. try liquid IV. It's the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. Bro, I'm not joking. One stick in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two to three times faster and more efficiently than regular water. Dude, get that stick in my body. Dude, you get the vitamin C, the B3, B5, B6, and B12. You might have an, even an F15 because you're going to feel like a damn fighter jet wow, after you get hydrated. Dude, it's the fastest growing wellness brand there is. You can find them everywhere. Find Liquid IV's hydration multiplier at your local Costco, Whole Foods, all right? It's a worthwhile choice, I'm telling you. I went through, I'm not joking, I went through the three boxes that they sent me. I went Went through them probably in a week, Dang, and I felt hands. saucy. Your skin looks good, dude. Thank you. I feel I feel wow. hydrated. So when you take liquid IV, the same hydration as drinking two three bottles of water, like you said, that's yep. nuts, dude. That's liquidiv.com promo code K A T S, and you save twenty five percent off. Maybe you got spring break coming up. Maybe you got that holiday party. You me doing a little booze, and maybe come one of my shows. And one of Theo's, he's sober. But mine, we get pretty wild, so I like to stay hydrated. Be hydrated with your boy here. Get stay drippy. Thick. Stay hydrated. Get drippy. It's the taste. I love it, man. I got a couple of different flavors. Get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code CATS at checkout. That's L-I-Q-U-I-D-I-V.com and enter promo code CATS to save 25% off and get better hydration. I'm not I'm not joking. It's the best stuff I've ever used. Bro. Yeah, don't wait. Start properly hydrating today. Okay. Let's get into this episode, dude. Should we get in some uh, CATS rap battle? Ooh. What? It's back? Mm-hmm. How? <laughs> How did they come back so quick? <laughs> no. that, was, that was weeks ago. <laughs> weeks ago. Weeks ago. <laughs> weeks ago they tried to. <laughs> weeks ago they tried to. And he goes, "This lie." <laughs> she goes, "Yeah." She goes, "Mm-hmm." He goes, "You want to read from your book?" <laughs> Yeah. Speaking, oh. of, speaking of, before we get into contenders, we thought we had our first female rapper. She sent this in on Twitter, and uh, let's give it a listen. And we're here with Michelle Mean, a spoken word poet. And what are you going to do for us today, Michelle? I'm going to freestyle. <laughs> Just a little something off the top of my head. All right. Well, let me sit back then. Go ahead, Michelle. <laughs> Go ahead, Michelle. Years ago, they tried me. <laughs> Years ago, they tried to put me in the. <laughs> you want to just read something from your book? Yes. Like she goes and reads for it. <laughs> 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 It you never is, boy. Like, he is a guy. I wonder gutter, what he's up to now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder what happened after that. I wonder what the fall happened. What's, what's his VH1 behind the music? <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen soon, man. <laughs> What uh, what do we have, Nick and Chen? What do we got, guys? Well, so last week we had Don versus Papa Bear, and in the first round, uh, Don beat uh, Papa Bear like 77-23. Told you. And then Little Browse retained his crown against Don 71-29%. to 29%. Tell you, I walk wow. out the Little Browse in the crowd go, wild, wow, dude. It's like a girl's gone wild being a bit with all dudes. Yeah. Dudes gone wild. <laughs> yeah. I play that Little Browse. It's dudes gone wild in my crowd, dude. It's fantastic. That's beautiful, man. It's nice to see a bunch of young men enjoying themselves. Yeah, everyone's just there positive attitudes, shirts off. What's this? Uh, so we got two new contenders this week to face Little Browse, and uh, the videos just keep getting more and more produced. Uh, this first one is from a rock, A-R-A- 
A R A R A D is his name, and his uh, artist name is A Highs. A H Y E S. And this is dedicated to one of the greatest human beings and souls I've ever known. My biggest supporter, my best friend, Ryan Charlie. R I P. That's what it says. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Ah, yes. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. King in the sting. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Shout outs to Meg Ryan gang, and Aaron gang. Hernandez. You know what I mean? <laughs> Much love to the king of the sting. The rat king is the king of the stink. The king of the stink. Yeah. Brandon, you look like the king of the twinks. Shout outs to CTE, because stinking is not really his thing. Always guzzling empty cans of invisible drinks. Theo looks like the type of guy to wash his dick in the sink. Ugh. I'm joking, y'all killing it from the jump. My niece and nephew love you, so go ahead and pump this pump. Many podcasts out there, but what divides is talent That's the higher than Derek, high advantage Y'all been lapping these light and average Comedians like that bird looking Delia The X-Fighter guy and that child of Brian Callen Oh wait, 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 my bad X-Fighter, Brendan Shop. fuck man, I apologize Let me switch it up Y'all need to fly me out ASAP To go on a date with Cat. I need to serenade that ass I wanna hear about your problems and relate with that Go home and masturbate to that ass I'm just joking my bad I'm not joking I'm bad Gang gang buzz buzz Gang gang buzz buzz Love it. That was dope. Gang, bro. That was really dope. Ah, uh, yes, music. <laughs> Mikey Bingo Beats. That was fun. It was good, man. That's a good vibe. That was fun for sure. Yeah. Definitely a, definitely different than the rest. It's a good vibe, yeah. That one you could chill, put, put the top down, get the tits out. Yeah, I definitely like that beat. That It, it kind of has that Moroccan uh, sort of beat. Like I could rock to that. Moroccan, I said, man. Pop a couple of Coronas. Get jean shorts out. Rollerblades. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? A Mike's hard. Yeah, a couple of Mike yeah. hards, maybe a Zima every now and then. Oh, I thought you said Mike's hard all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's, who's Mike? Mike? <laughs> That's our next rapper. We got no. This is, oh, this is Johnny C. Oh, Johnny C. Boy. Let me ask from Georgia. All right, y'all. Before I begin, let me just say this. Uh, fuck little brows. Oh. Y'all ain't be rapping. Let me show you what a real rap sounds like, just so y'all have some context here. It's the king and the sting with Jay Crow on the beat. Thickness and sickness by Sharp CBD. Or Theo's tattooed hamsters and ecstasy. Slip the rodents a few now, Sharp's okay to me. Theo checked himself for pornography. I swear to God, cat, if I don't see your feet, I'm crashing into an embankment in New Orleans. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, sting, sting. Culture, culture, about to drop another for your brain. Chins on in again. That's a text to the big brown bacon bills. Call it ass, take a thriller. Lil' Brow, get a wax. Call me the super villain. I was born in the dark because y'all was faking it. I stay on the road rules, you should do the same. I gave you a lane, now stay in it. Before a call in the kids talk history again, we roasting hosts, flaunting aunts, busting unks, and clowning cars. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. We roasting hosts, flaunting aunts, busting unks, and clowning cars. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Theo looking like he got some facts on some alligators. Brennan looking like he got a pocket full of now later snacks now. Munch, munch, baby. Brennan looking like a middle school lunch lady while Theo born. <laughs> sings a song while his two older roommates get it on. Jim's got a girl, but it won't be long before he hides another body and carries on. Got two goddamn thighs in the NDA sign, so you know she's down to ride. Now it's my time to shine. Lil' Brown step aside. Dirt posting in the corner. Stay black, stay high. It's the Rap King is beasting my gang. Buzz is no hype. I said the Rap King is beasting my gang. Buzz is no hype, nigga. Whoa. Damn. See, that's how you say it. You want some whiskey? Oh. <laughs> is he asking for whiskey? Oh. Body brows. Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh. Wow. wow. Got that Chappelle teeth game, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Damn. That shit was cold. 
Dude, he went, and that was real. It was a, it was probably more or less produced. Maybe I don't know. Was it? I don't know anything. Little brows <laughs> like this right now. <laughs> Loading up, dog. Dude. Calling out the brows can bring out that monster. Little brows will shoot something up. <laughs> Hell I yeah. think whoever shoots something up wins it. Oh no, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't even part of that. I don't, yeah, yeah, bro, that's this crazy, is Brendan Shaw. I don't go sign that. Yeah, you're crazy, bro. <laughs> Yeah, dude. We're not doing that on this episode also. <laughs> that guy was pretty gangster. Yeah. They're both good, man. Yeah. Both really good. You trying to see who's going to beat Little Brows? Mm -hmm. It's just a different vibe. Like, Little Brows is on that fucking... I mean, he straight has a hit on 105.9. Well, I yes, Music too. <laughs> the first guy. The first guy, his was a hit, too. Different, though. His more of a beachy hit. Somebody's getting married at the beach, or somebody. This more, you know. He also did sing. <clears throat> yeah, he did. He, he, he had that bit. Drake on it. Yeah, he had a little more Drake on it. I didn't. Some of the verses I didn't get that much, but it was good though. But it was cool. He went after Cat hard. He went after Cat hard. <laughs> Any interest on that man? Cat too big. <laughs> I am very. I don't like the attention. It makes me blush and uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't like it. Wow. He's very nice though. That's very you sweet. Know, he looks like the uh, he looks like the bad guy in the in the Goofy cartoons. The big guy, you know what I'm talking about? He looks yeah. like yeah. You know, know exactly talking what I'm talking about. The real big one. He looks like uh, Kelvin Gastelum if he never fought <laughs> and just hung out at the beach <laughs> and wore wild shirts. He, he looks like Aaron Donald for the Aaron Donald for the Does Rams. He really for the Rams? Yeah, he looks like Aaron Donald for the Rams. No, this guy, if you he, mean? No, not no, the, no, no, the other guy. This guy looks like Aaron Donald. Oh no, no, the big guy looks like Aaron Donald. He, he looks does? Like, he's like, identical. If Aaron Donald was in a fucking WeHo gay parade. Yeah. yeah. He, he had the jean jacket all low and shit. Look at him. That's Aaron oh, Donald, yeah. dog. <clears throat> yeah, that's him rapping a cat right there. I want to hear about your <laughs> Look, prize. man, I, look, I think Browse has both these guys. They look identical. You know? For God's sakes. Oh, that's not a bad oh. call, man. You're right. Come on, son. I think, bro, I, I mean, I don't know. I'll put it up to the people, but on my end... What do we do? Because I don't know. Yeah, he looks identical. That guy oh, yeah. As well. The yeah. references today are <laughs> impeccable. For that huh? They're good. The, yeah. My references are on point today. Um, I don't know what we do because I don't know if anybody's going to beat Little Browse. He's that good. Is he, though? The fans, well, he's destroying everybody. But somebody's got to come at him, bro. No, no one's come close. The last one was Don. I thought Don would get close. Don said he has a remix that he wants to send in, so maybe next time we do it, if Lil Browse wins again, we can put them up against each other, a little rematch. But okay. okay. All right. So do we have a contender from today to wins Browse or no? Let's uh, vote can... around the room. Oh, okay. Hmm? Chin? Contender today? Against, to go against Lil, Lil Browse? Browse? Uh, I like the rawness of the last guy. Like, he's very raw. He was on, like, right there. Yeah. Um, but I don't think they, yeah, I don't think they can compete with Browse. Yeah, I'm going to go with that second guy, even though he's extremely aggressive. Uh, he had really good lyrics. Although it's kind of cheating to just use our segment titles to rhyme, because they all rhyme anyways, but uh, he was still better. Yeah, we kind of did the rhyming for you. <laughs> yeah, pre-rhyming. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the second guy. I like his aggression. I, I like the aggression of the first guy, but I like the, the flavor of the, the first guy. What did you say? I like So the second guy had better rhymes, but the the... The, the first guy's more fun. Dude, like, just I say the N-word again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what I feel like. I don't want part of this. No, I'm sorry, dude. I'm joking, man. Look, I've said it. I know how it feels when people hear you say it. <laughs> so, it's not cool, man. People you... thought Don last, uh, he said Nick's a G. Everybody thought he was saying the N-word, but uh, he didn't. Oh, weird. He's straight. I would have caught it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would have caught it. Say that's it. a good point. We do have a good detective here <laughs> with us today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, I'm staying that. Look, Browse is still it. I, 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 these guys. Uh, thank you very much for the submissions. They're great. Yeah, they're great. <clears throat> I don't know who's gonna come along and beat Browse. But I, that that Dominican guy went straight at Browse though. I think we do what we did last week. We put those guys up against each other in a vote, and then the winner faces. It's eight mile style. Yeah. 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 And then they can get crushed by Little Browse. It's eight mile around here, dude. Oh, man. oh bro, bro, dude. Sometimes bro. I just like to get down the ground. No, no, you going and in on them? Sniff that green, you going green in on grass, bro. You do? Yeah. Oh, you like a little cattle boy. Yeah, dog. Dude, what I'm telling you about is right now I got something tasty for you, something naughty, bro. Dude, can I be honest with you? When I was a yeah. kid, I would daydream that I was Jolly Green Giant. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not... You didn't have to be honest with me about that. I knew that. All right. The one thing that health experts, dietitians, athletes, and top performers agree on is that the perfect diet doesn't exist. No, it doesn't. But 
With a balanced, healthy diet, you are going to cover all your nutritional bases. But you can't do it through food alone. I need that green sauce in my mouth. I'm talking Athletic Greens, the ultimate daily all-in-one health drink with 75 proven vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients makes it easier for you to get the nutrition you need. Tell them. No pills, none of that. Athletic Greens includes prebiotics, probiotics, your mama's biotics, robotics, whatever you want. Larry Biotics. Athletic Greens is what you need. Tell them, B. I'll give them what you need. Give it green in your weed. Uh, Delivered in powder form and mix the water. Athletic Greens requires less capsules, has superior absorption, and doesn't include any binders or fillers. Tell them, baby. What? Athletic Greens provides convenient, affordable, and tasty solutions to fill the gaps in your diet. Think about it. Again, 75 vitamins, brah. Look, whether you're talking, whether you're taking steps towards a healthier lifestyle or you're just talking about it, either way, Athletic Greens is going to help. If you're an athlete pushing for better performance, it's definitely going to help. Athletic Greens takes the guesswork out of everyday good health. You don't know if you're in the produce section, you got to have a carrot or two beets or whatever, or you got to jam a celery down your hole, bro. Try try shoving a whole head of lettuce down your mouth. You know how you feel, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. What I'm talking about is go to athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S and claim our special offer today. 20 free travel packs valued at $79 with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S. Get green. All right, let's get into this, man. Let's get into this dang episode, let's dude. Let's do it, dog. Sweet. We got some uh, debate club. Here's our first one. Oh, is this that guy from um, Young Sheldon? <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like Young Sheldon, doesn't he? A little he? bit. If, dude, she- if Sheldon was Asian. Yeah. Yeah. Young Sheldon. <laughs> Sorry, our Young Sheldon. All right, boys. Debate club for you. Last night, I was with my lady at the den on Sunset, and I believe I saw Chin with uh, a nice lady. And I wanted to say, like, you know, like, big fan. So I wanted to be like, is your name Chin? Because I was only 99%. But that felt a little inappropriate, you know? You can walk up to a white guy and say, is your name Andrew? But uh, inappropriate or appropriate to walk up when you're 99% sure and say, is your name Chin? Great, great, great. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Great question. It Chin, a great question. were you there? What was it? He said on Sunset? The den off Sunset? Sunset. All right, boys. Debate club for you. Last night, I was with my lady at the den on Sunset. The den off Sunset. I don't remember going to the den. Maybe. Were you off Sunset? What? I don't even know if I was on Sunset. Someone was out with a different girl than his girl. Yeah, huh? Sounds like. The den off Sunset. Were you out with that girl again? Carlita, what's her name? uh, Tits. Tits. uh, uh, Tits Hanson. Yeah, I'm not sure. Tina Tits. She caught the predator. <laughs> I think I was there. Wow. Wow. Oh, you had to shit. Google it? Yeah. The, he literally wow. looking through his where his phone has been over the past couple weeks. I think it's okay to walk up like, hey, are you Chin? Even if it's, whether it's Chin or not. But he's saying because Chin is a very distinctive type of name and Chin appears Asian. Chin no, just I sounds very, very, like it could come off somewhat racist. Right. A little. Like, yeah, but not chin. if he like thinks it's chin, chin from firing the kid or, you know, seeing the king. If he thinks it's the Chin, yeah. you can go up and be like, yo, you, well, you should say, are you the Chin? Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. That's but less racist. Are you the Chin? They think you were like, talking about oh. Jay Leno. That's, yeah. They would think you were talking Either about Either way, you're good. Are you the Chin? Just go, hey, are you a Chin? racist yeah. <laughs> are you a chin text david duke <laughs> he's not gonna answer no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay people say yes oh it's okay to ask yeah that's fine it's not too bad yeah so i'm gonna king that as well man is there anything someone could come up to you and say that's offensive if people call me redneck that offends me kind of <laughs> that does bother you right when we first started the show i'd make fun of you for being redneck and I, it didn't go well yeah, I don't mind. Like, sometimes I don't mind if it's, like, in a funny instance, but if it's just somebody who's just like, oh, this redneck, you know? Like being mean to you? Well, it's just, yeah, because it's just too much of a generalization. It's just such a boring, like... It's not creative. Yeah, it's just yeah, not it's creative. It's a stupid, weak, yeah. like, off-putting kind of term. Yeah, and it's not really my vibe either, really. Yeah. You know? Um, no, not at all. I don't think anyway. No, I don't think so. I mean, I look like shit. I'll agree to that. But <laughs> no, uh, I would call you a redneck. That's yeah, I wouldn't say redneck. No, they don't really have. I mean, I guess they have it. Oh, there's still. rednecks for sure. But I don't think really in New Orleans I wouldn't consider them rednecks. 
Them yeah. little Bayou Billy. South Carolina yeah. probably has more, but is it redneck? They have more of like a Texas traditional. I feel like in South Carolina. I don't know. I'm not from South Te- Carolina. Texas, <laughs> Texas, <laughs> Texas, Oklahoma. Right, dude. He's just he looking knows, at me yeah. locked in. I'm like, damn, Chappelle's sweating. Yeah. <clears throat> no, Texas, Chappelle's Oklahoma. Like, damn, dude. I'm from South Carolina. <laughs> I've never been My there, bad, dude. I thought you told me you went to USC one time. No, Whoa. I went to USC. Oh, yeah. Southern He's from California. Arizona. Oh yeah, yeah. He's South thinking Carolina. you're well, Southern. <laughs> Rednecks, Oklahoma, like more Oklahoma, Texas vibe. No, that Texas is Western. The Oklahoma is more of Western. I no. think of I think of pickup truck, Confederate flag, and yelling "Bluey!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that would be like Alabama, Alabama, West Virginia. Yeah, West Virginia has sort of mountain. Nah, that's not redneck. Those the, no. those are mountaineers. Those it's are, hillbilly. Hill, hillbilly. Hillbilly. Mm-hmm. They call it. Then maybe rednecks don't exist. No, they do. I think there's less and less of them. I think it's. You gotta get out more, brother. I I, I think I've been out. <laughs> get out more. Oh, all right. <laughs> You're right. I probably do. Is there is there any term that bother besides redneck for him? Is there a term that bothers you, Chin? Um, nip. Like back in the days when I was younger, they would, they would call you nips. It was candies, though. I know. Nipsey hustle. And people say nips all the time now. Even Nipsey, so they'll call him nip, right? Yeah. Like nip used to be the one of the worst derogatory terms for Asians. I've never growing heard up that in my life. It's for it's like short for Nippon Japanese, but they called every Asian nips. Wow, like you had some, some smart bullies in the school. <laughs> Man, we didn't have any of that. You never heard that cat nip? No. Wow, that's 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 before our time. Dude, everybody called me black as hell, Chappelle. That's, oh, that's, wow, that's, that rhymes. Yeah, that's what everyone called me. Again, creative bullies, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, black as hell. That's me. <laughs> that's more me. What about you, Nick? Any term that would bother you? You can call me anything. Doesn't bother yeah. you? It it only bothers me if it comes from like people that know me. If it's like internet people, doesn't can't get to, doesn't bother me. They don't know. It, I don't give a flying fuck. But yeah. if it's like someone in here, yeah, it, it would depend. Yeah, my friends are ma- way meaner than anybody on the internet could be. Yeah, th- I mean Theo can hurt my feelings mm-hmm. worse than anybody. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Should we go next King or King and or Sting it or sure. debate club debate club? Cat, wait real quick. Mm-hmm. Anything that would bother you? Um, I think I have the opposite reaction to what yours is so like i don't care online any, can hurt you uh not it doesn't even hurt me it's <clears> just <throat> annoying because most of the time the jokes aren't funny oh uh, yeah right. I'm, I'm like it doesn't bother me because they don't because they they don't know anything about you so it's like oh. it, it doesn't and hurt it's, it's just annoying like sometimes yeah. i wake up it's a tuesday morning and like, people are mean to you online oh yeah no yes well that's guy that's like dorks in their basement who are like yeah you know, i know they that like punch it doesn't bother me yeah, incels. Yeah. Also known as losers. But like everybody gets that. It's fine. Yeah. I can't believe they do it to hot girls. I wonder what their agenda I wonder what the motive behind it is. Girls sometimes really have issues with other girls. Let's get into this. This lady yeah, might know something. Oh. Is, is Here's a lady li- right here that has maybe an idea. Hey y'all. This is Michelle from Iowa. So with the Amanda Knox getting married this week, it got me thinking for a debate. Is Foxy Knox innocent or guilty? Thanks, gang, gang. What was that? That's bad. She uh, guilty or innocent? She's the one that killed her daughter, right? No, she was uh, she no was that's studying uh, abroad in Italy, in, in in Italy, and she got accused of killing her roommate and spent eight oh, years. Oh, in that's Italy. right. Yeah, definitely did it. Yeah, come on. We had her on this we past, had her weekend. past weekend. <laughs> oh yeah, how was it? Uh, did you feel threatened? What? <laughs> I don't think that she did it. I but I do think she looks Homer. like she looks like somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Homer. <laughs> she looks like somebody that could kill somebody. That's she has a look in her eyes sometimes, like, oh yeah, she could kill someone. Yeah, dude, it's called dead behind the eyes because <laughs> they murder people. No, you ever seen OJ Simpson in real life? Huh? You ever seen OJ? He Sim- looks like you're staring at a great white shark. Really? Yeah, dude. Wow. Her same shit. Boy, but, she's tiny, huh? Did you guys have security here? Mm-mm. She just yeah. She's- I saw the documentary. Those things are always you know it marketing long, one way. We just talked about. <laughs> Um, what did we talk about? All kinds of stuff. Yep, she just got married, and her and her fiance came. Chris was that his name? Yeah, and they love Renaissance fairs. Yeah, not oh, too no, fucking murder, <laughs> murder, <laughs> murder, dude. She couldn't murder. Look how she's very lean and and kind of um. Oh, does she kill? She you got to be strong to stab someone. I think you know what no, I'm saying. You, you got to be able don't. to. You got to have some. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, a little yeah. bit, a little bit. She's very like uh, Connecticut. Oh, yeah, like that, that 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 person seems like they're all there. 
She dressed up like it's fucking Game of Thrones. That's her wedding, you delinquent. <laughs> yeah, I know. How fucking batshit crazy you gotta be to dress what? like fucking Game of Thrones on your wedding day? It's a Renaissance fair theme. And Did everybody get those giant dinosaur turkey legs? And outer space. I'm not sure what food they had. <clears throat> She but. definitely did it, though. Watch the doc, dude. Just I did see the doc. I don't really? Think she did it. You don't think she did? Now, Homer! Did, did she kidnap Marilyn, Marilyn McCann? I don't know. She could have done that. Nick, you're awfully quiet over there. What do you think? You're around this killer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think she's capable of murder, but I don't think she did it. Okay. Yep. Homer! <laughs> now, here's when you know if she kills someone else. That's how you know. If someone else around her dies, usually someone who's killing people can't only kill one person. Yeah, they can, especially yeah. the roommate in Italy. She Man. didn't even get away with it. She got convicted of murder, for God's sakes. She got, she, they were unsure. But she's, she seems like a great young lady. Yeah, and there's Amanda Knox, and which is the one that killed her kid and then wants more kids? Stacey Anthony? Uh, Casey, Casey Anthony. Anthony. Oh, Casey, Casey Anthony. Anthony. Casey Anthony, that's right. And Scott Peterson killed Casey Anthony, didn't he? <laughs> What? <laughs> and then who killed John Bonet? Is it the same guy? I'm confused. I don't know. I think John Bonet's brother killed her. Hundred percent. Oh my god, I saw that thing, bro. Bring up John Bonet's brother. You see this? No. Are you, oh. uh, when he was on Doctor Phil. Chappelle, you got to get in here. Who do, do you guys <laughs> believe in serial killers, or what do you guys believe about it? <laughs> the black community. Yeah. The killers. There's only been one. Well, there's been two. There's two black. Uh, the, DC, DC sniper, sniper and, and the Baton that, Rouge guy. The nope. The Atlantic. The Atlanta killer. I didn't know about that one. Oh well, uh, Willie. Uh, <laughs> What? Uh, Look at the brother. Oh. Look at that oh, fucking psycho. The? He killed her because she he she ate his pineapple and milk. He hit her over the head. And then the parents covered it up because they didn't want to lose both kids. Yep. You're lying. Case solved. <laughs> really? Nope, yeah, happened. dude. Yeah. Cold case. Not anymore. And what's his name? Larry Ramsey or something? What's the brother's name? Um, Burke. He, Burke Ramsey. It doesn't. It the doesn't. jeweler? It don't matter. <laughs> Okay, what is he doing? <clears throat> is, yeah, that a re is that a recent picture of him? <laughs> I mean, look, bro. Why is that hair like that, bro? <laughs> huh? He probably just been playing a pickup game or something. Look, it looked like Chris <laughs> Dalia in that last picture. Go to that la right there. No, zoom in. Go in. Which um, one? Just up a little. He definitely did it, though. Up a little more. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Burke Dalia, dude. <laughs> He definitely did it, though. 100%. Yeah, it was an accident, Brendan. If you killed someone in an accident, you want to go to jail forever for it, or do you want your parents to help you out? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so silly. But, yeah. A little bit. But here's, the, <laughs> <laughs> here's another thing, though, man, is uh, Chris Lee could definitely play this guy in him if there was a, a biopic. Well, well, Chris Lee, he didn't play a killer, but he plays like a pedophile not killer in uh, mm. you second season. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to see him play this dude. I want to see him play Burt. The man of Knox. Yeah, that looks just like him. Burt oh. Benet. Oh, wow. Wow. that's good. Wow. That's actually wow. Chris D'Elia on the right. That's crazy. Wow. Sh you could mix him up easily. Mm -hmm. dude, dude, have you seen that dating show on Netflix? I just watched the first episode yesterday. Love is oh, Blind. You got to get past yeah. the first one, then it gets good. It's already good, dude. It's so good, right? Love is Blind. Have you guys seen this? No. So, it, mm -hmm. so it's like a group, like 12 and 12, 12 dudes, 12 girls. They're in separate sides, and then they meet for days in these pods, but they can't see each other. Mm -hmm. So they can only get to know each other. Through a wall. Through a wall, but they can't see each other at all. And some of them get engaged. What? Yeah, one, one dude starts crying. Yeah. He's like, will you marry me? This is crazy. Known her for four days. What? Yeah. And then she, this is black girl, hot. She's baddie. And her family's like all about Black Lives Matter, and like you know, she's never dated a white dude before. Yeah, Little dude. does she know she's talking to the fucking, fucking tall white Larry, and they get men and they get engaged, and she's all, oh, this is fantastic. Now he's the love of my life. Don't tell me anymore. I don't. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Spoiler. But that my favorite part is she goes, you know, it's be interesting to bring him home, you know, because <laughs> she's like, but we can still talk about Black Lives and stuff like that. Yeah, and it seems like he definitely Whoa. he's from Maine. That's the thing. And he's a uh, he's like a mm. uh, he's very he's a robotic white. engineer. Yeah, like his robotic engineers are a wider job. Go. <laughs> mm. Whoever makes spinach and artichoke dip. Someone catching crabs out there in the water. Yeah, that's fair. That could be Vietnamese though too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good call. Yeah, it's, it's a good show though. Have you guys seen it? No. Not yet. I'm gonna check that I out. I texted you last night about it, Kat. Yeah. It's worth checking out. I just watched one episode and then I had to go to sleep. Would you go on that show? <laughs> huh? 
Would you go on that show? No. Uh, but I did start to think a lot of people would. I'm curious to see because, yeah, you start to you get to know somebody, so you have to know them, and you can't have your phones the whole time you're there either. So you're totally like just yeah, it's like the Ultimate Fighter, but they don't <laughs> fight each other. Um, <laughs> what's weird to me though is, you know, I know it's not about looks, but looks is a big deal. You have a type, dude. You have a type, so you get to know the person. So they might check the box emotionally, but then you meet them like, oh, dude, I'm not into that. That's not what I'm into. Doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, it's love is blind is what it, it, the show is called. And so it's saying. <laughs> hey, my favorite, my favorite part for this episode, uh, Vanessa, what was it? What's it Vanessa name? Williams. Is that the, that's the host, right? Yeah. She's like, I'm no, I'm, I'm uh, Vanessa Lachey. Good to see everybody. And then Nick Lachey goes, and obviously I'm Nick Lachey. Yeah. It's like, obviously, bitch, these people don't know who you are. Some of <laughs> these kids are young, dude. Hey, Nick Lachey got some slappers, bro. Yeah. I mean, he back some, in the day. He got some hits. 98 Degrees. Yeah. No, his solo stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, name one <laughs> song. <laughs> name one solo song. Go ahead, Chappelle. What's Left of Me. Oh, that yeah. was a good song. That song is Praise a good God, song. Bro. I don't yeah. remember that song. Hit that Praise shit, God, Nick. Dude. Nick Lachey. Yeah, hit that shit, life. Nick. Pass me by. How's it go? <laughs> What's Left of Me. Because of you, I do. What's Left of Me. The hardest thing was a banger. That's 90 Degrees, though. Where's Nick Lachey up there? Should we uh, play this? We might have to cut it out of YouTube, or should we just have Chappelle sing it? Uh, play it just so I can get the vibe. What's left of me? Yeah, it slaps. It's about it Jessica slaps. Simpson. Yep. But the music video has his current wife. Yep. Vanessa yeah. Hutchins? <laughs> I don't know. I think I have a spinal column injury. <laughs> the song gives me that. Watch my life pass me by In the rearview mirror Pictures frozen in time. Oh, Chappelle knows the whole I'll be coming clearer. I don't want to waste another day. There you go, Shaq. Stuck in the shadow of my mistake. Oh, oh hit it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Because I want you and I feel you crawling underneath my skin. Like oh, you can kind of sing, huh? Like a burning, a burning no, place can't. I've never been. No one broke. It's a panty dropper, dude. I would be, but you can have what's left of me. You oh. can't tell me shit. Oh, oh that shit was banger. Come on now. Get that banger is banger, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, shit. That's bro. that dumper banger. Yeah. Hey, dude. Chin, you should sing yeah, that on your own. Uh, yeah, you if can I knew the song. I don't, I don't sing good. You don't know that song? I can't. You can't I mean, I heard it good, before. though, man. No, no, that's that's not that was bro. impressive. Oh, yeah. shit. That's not yeah. right, man. Hey, can I get Sorry, one bro. more, Nick? I know we got you going. Can I get one oh, more? That was me, uh, good. Bro. We got plenty of time, actually. Uh, give me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nick's over here super excited. He goes, <laughs> what's, what? No, that's Give me a hit, bro. Don't give me the album. Yeah, don't give me the album. You never pick any hits, fool. Dude, go to 98 Degrees. Get Nick Lachey out of my fucking face. What? Yeah, like anybody's ever said those lines before. Get Nick Lachey on my fucking face. No, go to 98 Degrees, oh. man. Get Nick Lachey on I, I do is pretty... Uh, let me see. Where's their bangers? I do or the hardest thing... Oh, Invisible Man's Gangster, too. Invisible Man. Yeah, uh, Dog, bust me with some O-Town. Get me off this gay shit. Oh! <laughs> O-Town, O-Town, bro. O-Town. Oh, yeah, get this gay shit out my yeah, face, dude. Nick. Give me that old time. All or nothing at all. All or no. nothing. Oh, there we go, oh. dude. This is that banger. We ain't gonna be able to play any of this on the episode. Whatever. <laughs> this is that banger, dog. You don't know this shit, Should I used to cry at the gym to this shit, you bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know when he's been on your mind That distant look is in I used to hang out at Spencer's, get an Orange Julius. Why do you always have a snack with everything? <laughs> 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 yeah, that, I used to walk around the mall with my walkie-talkie, a Mrs. Fields cookie, and just damn, and just damn. It's over. You could sing this too, Chid. I'm sure I could. You better do it. Play all five roles, dude. Cause I want it all or nothing at all. Is this how you do it? 
Theo looks like the oldest member of O-Town still on tour. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. His name this is all you have? Bro, his name is Dan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What do you think all those boys are doing? How many are alive out of the four? <laughs> <laughs> they're all alive. No, no they're not, man. Ashley Parker Angel? No. Ashley is Parker Angel. Him? He's not in it anymore. He does male modeling. Oh, okay. oh yeah. 50. <laughs> the boys were older than me when they were. No, popping. man. Trevor Panic. He got. Uh, Dude, who, who is another one? There's a black guy in it. Light skinned black guy. Light skinned black guy. <laughs> What's it, his name? In what, O Town? Yeah. No, you got Eric Estrada, Latino. <laughs> um, you got Eric Estrada. What song am I thinking about? There they are, right there. What was another oh, big man, band Trevor. back then? He looks the oldest now, the black guy. Jesus. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Trevor, that's what I'm thinking of. That black guy aged like fucking. What? Trevor looks good, man. No. He looks like shit. Y'all are gay as fuck, bro. <laughs> Y'all sound gay. You happen to Ashley? And no, hey, no, and if anybody's gay, it doesn't matter, yeah. bro. No, it's all good. We support it here. That Ashley Parker Angel is that almost is that a recent picture? Of that man? Yeah, he's wilding, bro. I he thought does a lot he was of the most famous one. Just getting pussy. He had a lot of. He did a lot of. Uh, yes, he does a lot of. He male did some modeling. gay stuff, I think. What? No. what? <laughs> yeah, I think he worked out with Theo's trainer too. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> My trainer was like, "Yeah, put this barbell in your butt." That's what he told me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I told you some what? gay shit. Oh. Did you see that one with his dick out in the yoga pants? Is that him, really? Yeah, he packing heat though. Just go to his IG, maybe. I don't know if he's still alive. <laughs> yes, he yes, is, he man. Is. They're younger than so. us. No, they're not, dude. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they're, they got to be older than us. Well, old, older than me, younger than you. No, Sting, they're not. Did you go to his Instagram? I'm telling, I'm telling you the gay stuff, dude. It's not gay, bro. Look at this stuff. It's He's not just gay. modeling. He's oh, yeah? modeling, man. Oh, yeah? Click on one of them, man. You Nick. think a straight dude takes a picture with a banana like that? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's Come about on, potassium. Bro. It's about people. I tell you what, I'm, not, I'm not mad at the well, lats, though. I'll give them that. This that boy people, got some tits on him. This is about people not getting enough vitamins, bro. Is that a commercial for him? What's going on there, dude? Are you pressuring him, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah. A straight guy takes a picture with a football like that. On Super Look at Bowl the bottom Sunday. left one. Hey, huh? everybody. Who are you going for? <laughs> what? Dude, that's him waiting for food or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what, what's the caption? Looking for the one. Night Owl. Versus early bird, who's with versus exhausted peacock. Emphasis dude, on cock. Gay <laughs> man, dude. Nah, man. Nah, I don't have any. Pro- I don't have a problem with it in any on? facet. Dude, he's looking for his friend. He's probably parking outside, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a you don't have a window by your house. I'll tell you what. That's a legit uh, question, though. Go back to the football one, man. That's a that's more definitely more of a macho one. Yeah. Hey, big game today, everybody. Who are you going for? Niners or Chiefs? I suck cock. That's what? what that is. Wow. He's an XXXFL fan. <laughs> Tell me, dude. <laughs> dude. You guys don't know a gay man when you see him, man. Y'all got to look at more gay men. Bro. Are you Team Niners or Team Chiefs or Team J-Lo and Shakira? Ha ha. Comment below. I'm eating wings and chatting. What? Dude, That's gay true. man. Bro, he's Which is chatting fine. and having hey, a he's snack. He's just having fun. Living yeah. his life, bro. I don't have a problem with it at all. He's what? Kill, he's crushing Find one more. Pull up Give me one, one more. more. Not the one with banana, because that's too easy. Yeah, that's not gay, that one's dude. too easy. He's got it's, a kid, right? It's about potassium, yeah. Elton John has kids. There he is. Elton right John there. has kids. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, he has two. <laughs> Keep going. Ricky Martin has kids. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Yeah, but they're not real kids, dude. Okay. <laughs> they're backup dancers. You just call them kids. Yeah, look at that one. Look at the seasonal one. Oh, yeah, look at this Christmas. Normal picture a guy would take. <laughs> Bro, he got a gift from somebody. <laughs> the, his friend arrived with the gift. Yeah. yeah. This is normal. He just woke up. Yeah, All right, give me, give me one more, Nick, just to be positive if he's not gay. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, gotta, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there he is in the shower. That's normal. <laughs> Let me see that one. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not, yeah good point. What? Good point, Dale. Yeah, yeah. That's what every guy takes when he gets out of the shower. That's normal. Dude, he's getting out of the shower. It says scary movie is the caption. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. M.W. Fagan's into it. Yeah. She's every comment. <laughs> Click yeah, on her man. profile for me, Nick. You got to know what's going on here. There she is. Uh, that's, that's a tranny. <laughs> All right. 
That's Mr. SMW Fagan. Yes. Oh, man. Well. I'm fucking tired, bro. Case solved. <laughs> hey, this cold case that solved. Job. Pokey had freaking uh, aluminum in it. Now, Pokey had melatonin in it. It does it? They're does killing, it? They were killing some sleepy fish. Dude, there's a lot of tired fish out there, dude. Yeah, I was, I was out tired. fishing the other day, and two fishes got in the boat. They're like, we get both. Yeah, dude, we're tired, dude. Can we nap in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we nap and you not cut our heads off? Yeah. Sure, dude. Like, man, we've been swimming for 15 years, man. <laughs> this shit is some bullshit. Dude, exhausting as a fishy. Here we go. Here's a guy that's di- that's doing something. Oh, is it John Lovitz? <laughs> we got one more debate club. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Theo? What's up, player? Got a debate club. Gruff the crime dog, Smokey the bear. Me personally, I prefer friendly bear in a hat telling you not to light any forest fires over some shady ass dog trying to fucking lure kids in the alleys with his trench coat on. True. Trying to get him to snitch on the friends for bringing True. the cigarettes to school, True. saying bad words and shit. True. That's just me personally. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate everything you do. Out here. Oh, shit. Burning in Texas. Damn. Gang, gang, buzz, 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 buzz. Well, Dude, I never trust that McGruff. Well, obviously, he, Smokey is his. He needs Smokey right now. I mean, if you didn't notice, there's a fire behind the guy. <laughs> there's a lot of fire. Going you can't see there's a huge fire. The guy pans to, which is really close. Wait, he's a fireman. Is he a fireman? Looks like it. Yeah, I think so. So obviously, he's gonna be Team Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear is preaching the the, the Lord's word. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, there's fires in California, and that bear does let you know don't smoke around here. Yeah, that's Where true. Smokey the or McGruff the crime dog, dude. Yeah, like he said, trying to get kids to snitch on other kids. He's always in that trench coat. Remember, he was like, hey, he was like, hey kids. You remember him? Yeah. Remember the weird videos? Hey kids, yeah. Hey kids. He's like all like, hey kids, tighten up. This is McGruff. Uh, yeah, I need some booze. He was you like, could, oh, he's like weird. You could tell he hadn't seen his wife and kids in a while. Definitely, right? sniffed out by the real thing. X McGruff crime. The dog player gets prison for a thousand plant pot farm and weapons cachet. So look, well, oh, they busted. You can't a judge guy. the man in the suit. They busted a McGruff. <laughs> but look, man, McGruff, I think is point. M- McGruff is the first line of defense because if somebody, if you, McGruff is saying, don't do cigarettes, don't do weed, don't do that Molly and shit like that no, to the he's children, not, dude. McGruff was a fucking fucking clown. What did dude, he say? What was hey, his hey, motto? Hey, was McGruff part of Dare? Take a bite out of crime. Oh, yeah, Take a right. bite out of crime. Yeah, so like Harry Carey. Carey. Dude, I think was he was he the dare mascot? No, dare was lying. Dare? dare was the real shit. Dude, a shout out to fucking Big Bob that was our dare rep, and he fucking over he didn't overdose, but he died because he was overweight. He yeah. overweighted. Shout out to <laughs> and our school. Shout out to Officer Stacy who passed away from lung cancer for smoking as well. Did he? And he was our dare representative. Dude, dare reps go down, bro. That's a hard job. Dude, did you have jump rope for heart? No, we they had. Would come, did anyone have jump rope for heart in here? Where they come over and they're like professors jump ropers. Uh-uh. Oh my god, you gotta start fucking living, dude. What? This is the dare line. This was the mascot. Mm-hmm. Darren. Darren. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Really? Oh my god. Darren That's the Darren lion. the lion. Was the dare mascot, dude? I'll smoke that dude, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? That, that line makes me want to do drugs. I'll do a gram off of that tiger's tail, bro. That dude is out of his fucking. Yeah, I'll mind. take some Molly and talk to Darren. I'll tell you that yeah, right bro. now, bro. Dude, I'll fucking, I'll blaze a fucking eight ball straight into my veins, bro. Yeah, fucking. Fuck Dude, Darren. I'll Nolan Ryan a couple of oxies right down my throat. Hell yeah. If I can get out there and tick a little Darren, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Darren ain't scaring nobody out of drugs. Dude, we had a guy, he would always tell us that it wasn't really him in the suit. We had like some guy was like scared, like he had like uh, claustrophobia or something. Dude. And he'd be like, hey, it's me, Alan, in here. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like what? We didn't even know him, bro. He didn't go to our school or anything. He's like, yeah, it's Alan. And so he I just heard. want you to know it's Alan. Don't, <laughs> don't be cool. No, he wouldn't lift it up. He would just say it. Out of the, out of the suit? Yeah. Dude, my, my brother's older than me, and uh, him and his buddy went to uh, Red Robin. Remember the big bird in Red Robin? <laughs> and always come around. You know, he'd come around, and my brother's friend goes, I bet you won't slap that uh, Robin. I'm like, yeah, I was younger. I was like, yeah, I was trying to impress him. I'm like, yeah, I will. And the Robin came around, and I was like, hey, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> he goes, he's like, oh, hey there. I go, yeah. Slap. <laughs> I'm like eight. Slap. And his fucking head feels like this. Oh, my dad got so mad. Maybe and this, one made, this one made it worse. So the guy's like, fuck. Oh, damn, dude. It was a black guy. <laughs> well, I, you hear the guy go, fuck. Sorry, that sounded like a black guy. Did it a little bit? <laughs> hey, he walks away. My dad's like mad, dude. Makes me go to the back. And there were, my dad's like, hey, my son hit the rob, and he wants to apologize to him. And we get back there, and there's some, some old black guy in the suit. Just like, just that was the last straw, dude. Damn. I think he quit after that day. Oh. But it made it worse that my dad made me apologize to him. So I was like eight. I was like, hey, man, I'm sorry I did that. The guy's like, all right, dude, thank you. <laughs> But I was like, give me your cash. Like, here you go, dude. It made it way worse. <laughs> Damn, but you have to go apologize, Brennan. You fucking hit an you hit an endangered species, first of all. <laughs> Red Robin. But the best part about it in the suit. Fuck! <laughs> Final straw, dude. This guy would be like, don't do drugs. Oh, hey, it's Alan. <laughs> you know, this dude was just so weird, bro. <laughs> My guy's working for steak fries. Is that ecstasy? <laughs> it's Alan. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Who the fuck is Alan, man? What else we got? Should we close it out with some punk my uncle? You haven't done that in a while. Y'all see these little punk ass uncles. One of my cheeks hurt, but I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> On your ass or your face? Face. This is uh, Unky Jerome sent in by Brandon Springer. Rome, Rome. Oh, dude, he can't be a... Is he... He's always sleepy. Oh, okay. He oh. eats chips and cookies for breakfast and washes them down with an ice cold Mountain Dew. His favorite jokes are fart and poop jokes, and he once got hard watching a lady shit in the woods. Mm. Is, is, is it Stephen Hawkins? An outdoorsman, huh? Oh, dude, he's out. That neck's going to be sore in the morning, brother. Yeah, happens on planes a lot when uh, he goes out. And who's that, somebody's uncle? Yeah, this is uh, Brandon's uncle. Damn, Brandon, your uncle looks like he's going to hit a few people. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and that's right before he cut his wife up. But he, <laughs> <laughs> look at that he looks like the killer from, from the documentary uh, Stairs. <laughs> Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Oh, wow. You guys get fucked. What do you guys think, Start Culture Corner, when you see a guy like this? And it's, what do y'all think about that? What this? do you guys think when you see an old man with a gut like that? Now, there he is right there at, his, at a funeral. That was before. He, oh, no, that was after, I guess. Also, he chopped up his wife. I mean, you see a lot of that in Arizona. I tell you that much. And what does that mean when you see it? Meth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an M. You, know? you were thinking it. <laughs> He was yeah. trying to combat the sleepiness. He just wanted me to say it. Dude. Did, did they say what uh, yeah, what he does for a living? Uh, yeah, dude, he sleeps at work. <laughs> well, it looks like he has an important job. Look, it looks like so, he's did some. Bro, he makes alarm shit. clocks. He was testing one out right there. Didn't you see him? Dude, like, taking a nap. Look behind him on the left. It looks like he's dealing with some serious shit, though. <laughs> yeah, what is he doing? Can you zoom in on that left picture? Please is he a that. rocket scientist? Look at the shit behind him. He's a rock scientist. That dude's smoking meth, bro. Okay. Yeah, you're right. He's a rock expert. I ain't talking about Solo. He cleans up nice, though. He's got a scale. What else is he doing? Now, what's in his hand there? Paintbrush? Oh, he's a painter. Brendan? He's a painter. I don't, I don't know. You don't think men paint? Dude, this might be a, this, this might Getting be a the 20th century. No, dude, this is a trap house. He's making drugs, bro. Bro, it's a very nice trap house. Well, look, there's all those markings on the floor. What does that mean? That's I like have, a lab I'm or something, you, man, huh? There's like warnings. It's a lab. He's in a suit. Do you have any information about this man, Nick? Uh, just all the cookies and Mountain Dew and shit. Here's another video of him. Oh, he's farting. Yep. <laughs> but he did it outdoors. <laughs> Oh. He calls that the bouquet of middle fingers. Oh, That's I like funny. that. This guy's he has awesome. huge hands too. Can we look at his hands there at the very end of that Let's video? Let's get a look at his dick beaters. You don't see a lot of large-handed men like that anymore. That's big hands. He's very kind of paleolithic, if you will. p lith That's a cool uncle. Look, I'll say this. At least he walked outside to um, pass gas. A lot of men won't do that. Do they do that in Asian culture, Chin? Pass gas? Yeah. Yeah, but just quietly. It's yeah. not as big of a deal as white have, culture. You guys have sex? You guys even have you hear sex? This? What? You hear what he said? What did he say? I've never heard my mom fart in my entire life. Praise God, brother. Oh, my, my mom will let it rip bombs over Baghdad. You serious? Dude. Oh, my mom would Dutch oven me when I was a kid. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is. Dutch How can oven. you live your life if you heard your mom fart? <laughs> Crazy, right? What? Yeah, man. 
So uh, I'm looking forward to my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah. one more punk, my uncle. When is it? When is St. Patrick's Day? That's <laughs> no. <what I> <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how can you ever get the sound out of your ears? My mom? <laughs> yes. Dude, my mom one time had to shit her pants so bad I was a kid. She parked in emergency lane in the middle of the mall, left me in the car, ran <laughs> in, shit, and then came back and got me. Yeah, that's being a mom, dude. <laughs> but how do you hear her fart and still go on about the light? Well, she'll laugh her ass. She'll rip a big fart and laugh. I've never heard any of my, my My dad's dead, but I never heard my mom fart. Oh, my mom. I'm fucking Thank God. Me. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> And Chin, you said in your in your culture, it's not even cool, huh? But you guys want to have sex loud. Uh, you guys have sex like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two, yeah. It's just like your penis and vagina just trying to keep a secret. Yeah, <laughs> it's a one big secret. It's just so unbust. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and when they bust, yeah. <laughs> Chin Dai. Does that mean anything? <laughs> That means Dodge Viper. Yep. <laughs> oh, you can. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I was, I, it sounded fun. You were doing it. It is fun. Yeah, I was like, I to do it, it is fun. I'm trying to say that whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Nigga. Damn. No, 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 no. That's not the whiskey no. I have, bro. No. All right. Nope. Oh, David Duke just texted me. <laughs> <laughs> just heard back from him. That's crazy. <laughs> He said, I'm going to say the, the, the Nico <laughs> West whiskey. All right, what do you got? This is uh, sent in by Lewis from Illinois. This is Uncle Slick Victor. He's 50 years old. He likes to watch Japanese wrestling while hitting his vape. He's a retired stripper but now works in a warehouse. He got married in fall of last year in Vegas at an Elvis Presley-themed drive through chapel, and he's currently just a couple pieces of paperwork away from Getting a divorce. Hey, man. Oh, had to, dude, Sounds like a luck, good man. Brother. Sounds like you've had a <laughs> great like career. A yeah. And he's got a beautiful fish on him. Let's see. Uh, it is, almost is it a the video? Fish, the fish almost looks no, fake. Oh, there's no video? Yeah, just this guy. That's beautiful out there. He's out there by a lake. Look at that. That's a beautiful uh, fish. Yeah, he's got a nice sunny on him. A couple reds, maybe carp. Going through a divorce. Always yep. fun. But keeping his head up. Slick Vic, they call him, huh? Can catch Slick Rick got a at good the lake. Smile on his face. Yep, he's got a good yeah. smile. I like the name Vic. I like anything that rhymes with Slick is usually a good name. I feel like Slick Vic, Prick, Slick Vic, Vic. <laughs> Trick. No, not any word. Just any name that rhymes with Slick is good. Yeah, I know. I'm just giving you a bunch of names. Those aren't names, dude. Brick. <laughs> slick Brick, no. Slick Rick, Rick Slick is Tick, v- Tick. I knew a Tick. Um, <laughs> who's a lifeguard though? His name is Tick. Don't want that guy watching. T I C. Don't want. Don't want him relying on saving my life. What really? Tick the lifeguard? Yeah. No, absolutely not. Dude, my sister when we were kids almost like drowned. She was like underwater, and some guy jumped in and saved her. And then came back and saw us like years later, and was wearing just jeans, shorts, and no shirt when he came back. <laughs> this guy sounds like a goddamn hero. Yeah. <laughs> he was. Man. Was he looking for a date? I don't know. My mom was like. What in the hell are you doing here? Like almost 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Victor didn't really take us anywhere, so we'll close it out with two quick sink my inks. All yeah, right. please do. Vic sucked. Here's our first Vic one. Vic sucked? <laughs> He's been through hell. Okay, they said he was in Vietnam. He was in... No, he did. They said he was a stripper. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad, dude. Never mind, bro. Dodging hoes. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Close, though. Here's our first sink my ink. Hey guys, this is Kat from King Mustang, and today I have a Sink My Ink submission. This is my tattoo. It's of a snake. I got it last fall because. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit! What just it's happened? Turned into dude. Porno real quick, <laughs> dude. I've seen that episode of Black. Rudy. I've seen that man. <laughs> That's your look, tattoo. That was a happy little accident. We'll we'll watch the rest of this one. I like the way we'll we'll just skip right to the next one right after. I saw that movie. Miami <laughs> porno. <laughs> so, Kat, you have a Japanese? What is that? A snake? Yeah, it's just a snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Yeah, yeah, I like it's cat's cool. tattoo. We're not giving me Damn, though. boy. Damn, bro. What's up, guys? <laughs> Chappelle Lacey from Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> Sink my ink. Uh, I got that Iggy Pop Raw Power. Yeah, that shit's just raw across power. The, across the, the collarbone, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it is. 
And then uh, just below that, some Modest Mouse lyrics. This is the part of me that needs medication, bro. Gang Come shit, on. bro. Life's crazy out here. Over here, got <laughs> Not that, that crazy, though. Black Flag Bars logo. Wow. Representing All flag. power, Black Flag. Over here, I got my best friend. Shout out to CJL. Is he Rest still alive? Peace. And over here. He died, bro. Got that Misfits Fiend Skull. I got that when I was really drunk, cheering some game in Florida. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. And then uh, last but not least, that Demon System 13. Hey, man, brother. That punk rock, baby. Tower Center. You know what it is? Swedish Thrash. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. God damn. Is boy. he still alive? You think a black guy has a tattoo of someone who's still alive on him? <laughs> yeah, that's why I was in my own. Oh, gay cool. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. but, to, but rest in peace. Yeah, rest, rest in, in peace, peace, man. I didn't CJL. hear the rest in peace thing. Yeah, I talked. Oh, damn, that's you getting the tattoo? Yeah. Now, is I'm, Joe Rogan with hair giving you the tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> that's Pro that Rogan. Like Aaron Coleman, man. <laughs> when, how long ago did you get that raw power tattoo? That was two years ago. That shit was... Hurts. Oh, on the that collarbone? Was, yeah, that was the most painful, probably one of the more painful ones. Damn. Yeah. Damn, your tattoos are intense, bro, bro. Yeah. That is, that could be Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan with hair doing tattoos, bro, in Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, man. Damn. <laughs> and Eric the, Coleman, the raw, baby. The raw power's from uh, an album? Yeah, it's an album by Iggy Pop and the Stooges. What and a it, great it, name. It's also a song, too. And then Modest Mouse. What was the most famous Modest Mouse song? Hold on. Mm-hmm. We all float on all right already. We'll all oh, float on go. all right. Hey, a, why'd you look that? Because like, you sang it so aggressive. <laughs> all right. Already, 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 we'll all float on all right. Then Good. Lupe Fiasco sampled it. Yep. In a uh, great song. Right. Yep, Brendan. So what I'm saying is this, dude. Um, does. What I'm saying is. Chappelle's tattoos are pretty dope. Dude. It's very, do you, is what, that your you, only tattoo, cat? That's what no, I, I have another one. Yeah? Where? Yeah, on my rib. What is it? It's a C.S. Lewis quote. Oh. C.S. Lewis. It's an author. It's a C.K. Lewis quote? <laughs> no, not <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Which quote is it, Cat? Um, There's nothing worse than explained tattoos, is there? I hate yeah, it. No. Or would you get that? Bitch, because I wanted to. Yeah. That's a whole I, segment. Because I like, sh- I, know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm saying for them, though. When you personally know someone, you know? Like, oh like Delia got a tattoo. And I was like, oh, that's, I was like, why'd you, I mean, you don't have to explain why you got it. Let me just see the art. That's cool, dude. I think that fish had something in it, bro. Iron or something. <laughs> I'm sleepy, too. Sleepy. You're sleepy? I'm a little sleepy. It's called work, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get, got to get up. That does I, it. I feel good. Um. Yeah, your tattoos are pretty cool. If people didn't know, you just had your shirt off. Like, oh, he served ten years. Oh yeah. Pe- oh man. But then people. you get close. You're like, or it's a Thrasher magazine. <laughs> 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 and you don't, you know, you're, you're, you're out of it, huh? Feels really tired, feeling it. You still thinking about that boy that came wearing them jean shorts years ago? What's up, Lance? It wasn't a boy. That was a man, dude. Mister Lance. Oh wow, Mister Lance came with them jeans, yeah. them Levi's. They fit uh, nice though. They might have been Rustler or something. They were pretty look. They might have been Levi's. Did he come over and say, "Hey, I'm looking for little ruffles"? He wanted to see my sister again because he'd saved her life. He said. Mm, so he says. I'm like, what are you doing here? You don't even have any shoes on. Hey, you got any cheese? It's let me see that little sisters of yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what week this is. Uh, oh, we're, uh, boom, boom, oh. I'm in. Uh, Where are you at this weekend? Anywhere, dude? I'm so glad you asked. My back hurts, Brendan. Is it? Cool, Fuck, dude. What was it? Ah. I'm in. Uh, I'm in uh, Atlanta Friday, Buckhead Theater, one show only. I'm in New Orleans uh, the next night. Your hometown. Tell your peeps to come on out. Dude. Gang, gang, bro. The dark arts rolling through, but I'm not really that dark. More of the, like the bright arts. Uh, New Orleans, March 14th, one night only. Then Austin, March 19th through the 21st. Then I end the month. Toronto, Detroit, Minneapolis. Get your tickets. One night only in every city except Austin. Gang, that sounds amazing, man. It's gonna be fun. Could be. We'll see. I don't know, dude. Yep. We'll see, bro. It Where'd will you... be, man. I'm coming up. I'm going to be at the uh, Ryman at April 17th. Uh, and I think that's sold out in Nashville. And outside of that, um, that's all I know right now. Uh, and then we're going to be shooting a special somewhere, but I don't know where yet. Ooh, doggy. Any ideas where you want to shoot it? Um, I don't know, actually. 
Uh, we have to, Dallas this... or Chicago, maybe. Ooh. Mm. Um, Dallas would be cool. Yeah. And then I'm shooting a live podcast of uh, this past weekend at uh, the Netflix festival. I know. I wanted to do a live King of the Sting, but I'm, I'm in Europe. You're going to be in so Europe. So I'm sorry, brother. So we'll do it next time, man. We'll do it next time. Um, Chappelle Cat, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Appreciate Nick you Jen. Guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Chappelle will be with me in Austin, y'all. Yeah. Austin, Texas, March 19th, 21st. It's party. Birthday's 18th. Holla. Bring gifts to the shows. Holla. My feelings will get hurt. Holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. Bring him some whiskey. What's that whiskey you like? 